Hey everybody, it's Ron Henry Sassers. I'm going to show you how to make Syrian kebab halabi. Let's get straight into it. So I'm going to be doing this recipe based on one kilo of beef mince. Now you can use lamb mince if you prefer or you can even mix the two together. Now the first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to about 190 degrees Celsius. And we're going to start by seasoning our mince with one teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of ground coriander. I'm also going to add in about a quarter cup of pine nuts to this. Now you don't have to do this, but it does make it much better. So what we need to do now is give this a good mix together and we want to make sure to get everything combined well. Okay, so that's looking well, so we can move on now. So I'm going to be baking these the very traditional way, by doing it in the oven in a casserole dish. So we're going to start by adding just a touch of olive oil on the bottom. We'll set that to the side for now. And what we want to do with our mince, is just in our hands, grab about half a handful like that. And we just want to roll them into a cylinder shape like that. Just like that. So you want them about that size there. Don't make them too thick because then they're going to take longer to cook. Once you got that, just put it straight into the dish. Okay, so that's my result there. So we've got eight of them. So what we're going to do is go to our stove now. So guys, just on a medium to high heat, all we're going to do is just sear these. So not cook them all the way through, just brown them on all sides. And obviously make sure you're using a dish that is oven safe, and safe enough to put onto the flame. Okay guys, so once you have that nice brown colour all over, we'll turn the heat off. And just let them rest there. So what we're going to do now is make our sauce component. So we'll bring across one brown onion. And we just want to thinly spice this. Next we'll need one red capsicum, cut off the stem. And we just want to try and thinly slice this as well, just like our onion. So now we'll just put all this straight into a small saucepan. Just like so. And we'll add in about two tablespoons of olive oil about three crushed garlic cloves and we'll take this to the stove as well. So all we're going to do is lightly saute this on a medium heat and we just want to soften everything up. So once everything starts to soften up we're going to add in two cans of crushed tomatoes. And we'll season this with a pinch of salt and some cracked pepper. And in case you're wondering, the cans I'm using are 400 grams each. And we just want to cook that together for about two minutes. So once that's been simmering for about two minutes, turn the heat off. And all we're going to do is pour this over our meat like that. And make sure to give it a good covering. So just like that. So guys, all we're going to do now is cover this with some aluminium foil. And we're going to put this straight into the oven, provided it is preheated. We're looking for a total cooking time of around 20 to 25 minutes. Alright, so it's been 25 minutes. And just have a look at that. So let's just go ahead and serve this. So I've just placed our meat straight onto a plate. And we'll just top it up with some of our sauce. And that's all there is to it, guys. That's how we make Syrian kebab halabi. I hope you like that guys, please like and subscribe.
You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.